Hey everyone, how's it going? Outlaw Window Cleaning. I'm Lewis. I have a YouTube channel called LJ's Window Cleaning World. Check it out. See what I'm about. What makes me an outlaw? So, like most of us, I went to school, went to college. I struggled with reading and writing. I couldn't pronounce um, words properly when I was a kid, so I had speech therapy. Um, and that was difficult, but you know, I'm pretty much past that now. Um, sometimes I stutter, um, not all the time. Sometimes I still struggle to get words out um, properly. Um, so, what makes me an outlaw? So, after I left college, I worked in a fish and tackle shop um, for about 18 months. That's um, basically the, the, the company that owned it shut down um, so I had to well I got made redundant so the job was no longer there I went from that probably for about a year unemployed not knowing what to do struggling to find a job um, I then had a job in a tool and plant hire company um, so power tools um, small plant tools like still saws and you know grass um, strimmers uh, turf cutters stuff like that um, I done that for about four years probably um, and I was actually basically before again I got made redundant because the company had a massive change around because they didn't have the money to keep certain departments open um, I was pretty much running that with no experience of that kind of stuff, so I was, you know, exceeding myself, uh, my expectations of, of what I could do and what I was able to do, um, which is totally awesome. <coughs> and like I said, I got made redundant from, from that. So again, I was left for about a year. I done some agency work, mainly factory work, um, which is is okay, you know. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's not my kind of thing. Um, I'm used to speaking to people face to face in a in a customer service role as such. Um, I enjoy speaking to people. I enjoy finding out about people. Um, so there was a job advertised for a window cleaner. So I applied. Um, again, no experience in that, you know, field of work whatsoever. I, I went to the job interview, um, got given a trial for a couple of weeks. Within about two days, he said that I had the job, and it was window cleaning, and um, it was a contract cleaning company. So we used to do things like uh, end of tenancy cleaning. We done carpet cleaning. Uh, graffiti removal, um, clearing up blood, clearing up needles and you know drug dens and all that sort kind of horrible stuff, um, cleaning stairwells, cleaning big schemes of windows, you know, um, covering a, a massive area. If you're from the UK, obviously, you'll know what I mean by Norfolk. It was all around Norfolk. Um, if you're from the obviously US, then have a look on a map. Um, and see, look up England, Norfolk, and, and see how big the area is. Obviously, not as big as, as some places are in America, but it's still quite a fair size for our contract cleaning company. So I done that. Um, the person who I was working for lost the the work he was doing on on price. This other company took it on. Um, I moved over to them to work for them, um, and then that wasn't a great company they wanted to make me an area supervisor so I agreed to give it a try to see what it was about I'd done that I was at that company in total probably just over a year um, I had when I was area supervisor and I had probably about 12 13 people underneath me that used to um, speak to me about problems I would then relay them problems to the people above me um, it was very difficult to um, tell the people above me how things should be done because they didn't know what they were doing. It was very frustrating, very awkward, um, a lot of arguments, a lot of falling out, a lot of swearing, um, a lot of tears. Um, 
it really got to me um, that the company that I was working for wasn't giving the best uh, um, customer service that, that they could. Um, so, you know, it, it, I didn't really like it. Um, I got signed off sick. I was off work for about six weeks with depression. I didn't want to get out of bed. Didn't know what I wanted to do. Didn't know whether I wanted to leave, whether to stay. Um, all these sorts of things that pop into your head. Um, and in the end, I decided to, I handed my notice in and decided to leave that job and start my own business. Um, it's been a year in November. I currently have 130 customers. It's growing every month. I'm getting more and more. You know, the most important thing about what I think I offer is one is obviously value for money, two, um, I'm reliable, three, I'm easy going, four, I'm great at communicating. Normally, I have to let a lot of my customers know, you know, when I'm coming um, and stuff like that, so I let them know. Um, you know, and I do, you know, float my own boat, but I'm very good at window cleaning. Um, that's what I do. So the, you know, that that's pretty much me in a nutshell. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to Outlaw Window Cleaning, then subscribe, like this, um, check out my YouTube channel. Like I said, it's LJ Window Cleaning World. Thanks for Tim for letting me do this video for you guys, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye bye.